Actually, neither Jason nor Chase ever belonged here, Angela. Oh, I agree with you. But I can't get Chase to accept my standing offer. You know, it's no secret that I want to replant your acreage. Yes, I know. But, ladies, let's not discuss business tonight, all right? Well, I just wonder why you want a mere 50 acres when it's already in the family. Well, I don't think this is the time to start a debate over family business, do you? Oh, Mother just likes to dominate everything. Well, to Jason, whose fate was sealed the day his father died. You never gave him a chance, did you? I gave him every chance. Mother. Uh, mother. Ma mother. Mother. Chase. This has been a long time coming. Angela. I won't let you destroy my son. I have no interest in destroying anyone. What about Jason? He was a man of culture. A man with style. He could have been a great man. But you would have killed him with your bare hands before you'd have let him have any part of Falcon Crest. Did you come all the way over here to tell me that? Power. That's all you love. Love? What do you know about love? The one time you had it, you turned it away. That's not what happened, and you know it. I knew what you were up to. I knew that you were out to take over all of Falcon Crest. Falcon Crest belongs to those who can control it and make it live. It belongs to me because I'm strong enough to make it produce. The future here belongs to anyone who has the skill and the raw guts to take it away from me. Now, Jason could never do that, and neither could you. That's why you ran away. The only reason I took Chase away was to keep you from ruining his life. Now, why would I do that? You don't understand, do you? I don't like you, Angela. I don't like anything about you. Now, maybe you've got everybody else believing that Jason got drunk and drove his truck off the road, but I don't accept that. That's exactly what happened. Well, Emma seems to think that Jason died more than once. What's well, highly improbable, isn't it? The only thing I really care about is that my son doesn't become a victim of some accident himself. You sound frightened. Oh, I am. For my son. Well, why tell me? Tell Chase. She has told me, but it didn't do any good. My mother knows me pretty well. Whenever she told me I shouldn't do something, I usually went ahead and did it anyway. I've made my own mistakes along with my own successes. But you don't know her. She can be treacherous. Your father... I'm not my father. I've learned a lot about Falcon Crest and about Angela's way of doing business. I think we understand each other. Do we? Then you understand this little adventure you've brought your family on is nothing more than that. It's hardly an adventure. This is our home now. We're here to stay. Chase. Thirty years ago, I had no choice. Everything was different. I was only trying to protect you. I know. You amaze me, Chase. I thought you were a sensible man, intelligent enough to know when to quit. But you're really quite emotional, aren't you? <laughs> I hope so.